Hi guys, I'm Sandy McTeer and I am in the DecoArt booth and I am excited to share with you about marbling paint. DecoArt has a whole new program with marbling. It is amazing. Let me show you how quick and easy and beautiful it is. So we have our marbling colors, but we have magic in a jar. This really is magic, magic. So we are going to take our magic medium, one teaspoon to two cups of hot water. You're going to mix it in and whisk it. So you want to make sure all the bubbles and everything are out and that it's dissolved. So leave it for 20 minutes and it's going to be perfect. Once you do that, you want to take a piece of cleaning paper. So we have two packs of paper, cleaning paper, and then also our vibrant white marbling paper. So we're going to just clean the surface. So just run that right along the surface. It's going to do two things. It's going to clean off any dust and debris, but also any residual colors that you might have in your bath. So this can last for five days. You want to make sure you cover it so no dust or debris gets in it, but I can continue to use it over and over and over again. Now, our marbling paints are highly pigmented. They are absolutely beautiful. And we're just gonna drip that right into the water. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cobblestone pattern first. A little cobblestone technique. And then you can come in, drip and drop more. You can also do this. And look how cool that is. The colors just move. Now they're not mixing. You're gonna see those colors separated. But the cool thing about it that we have in our program is that we have the dropper top bottles that are empty so that you can take our 14 custom color, our 14 colors and make custom colors and your palette will be limitless. So again, we're just going to lay those on. Again, I can alternate and go back and use a different technique. It's just going to make that paint separate spread out and create cool, effective patterns. So let's throw a little purple in there. And this is so much more fun. <laughs> All of it's fun, but I do love to drip that in. And then we'll do that. All right, so once you get your colors on there, we have a couple things that you can use to create some cool patterns and designs. So in our program, we have a rake and also a comb. So those are going to create some cool designs and movement in the marbled paint here. Actually, we're gonna marble it now. We're going to move that to create cool, incredible designs. Bring that paint together a little bit. So that again is the comb, the rake, fewer prongs but again you can run that back and forth to create cool designs just like that and I'm loving this color right here so even after you've done that you can come in and add more where you want it okay we also have our stir sticks they work great for getting rid of pesky little bubbles the bubbles will create a white spot on your marbled area so you want to get rid of those you can also use it to swirl. You can also just gently blow on it if you want to spread that paint out a little bit more. Now we're going to take, this is our special prepped paper. So vibrant, vibrant, and it's going to show off our marbling colors so beautifully. So you want to lay that in, a little bit of tension on the corners, lay it right down into your tub, touch the corners, make sure that that is covered and then you're going to lift it up okay now once you've done that you can come over to this is just plain water we want to rinse that magic medium off the top you're just going to rinse it lift it up and lay it to dry now you could take this and do decoupage you can um, decoupage this onto jewelry you can put it on wooden boxes you can actually marble right on wood hydro dip so I can take our wooden this I've done nothing to it it's just a wooden pencil take that lay it in and marble raw wood all right then what you want to do when you're done with your poles you want to use our cleaning paper to get rid of that residual paint unless you want to keep dipping and marbling things so this I'm going to lay down and I have to say sometimes this is even <laughs> so pretty to use in mixed media, right? Or in your cards, your art journaling, 
So just gorgeous, love it. And again, you wanna lay it to the side to dry it. And then you just wanna clean that surface off so that that paint is removed and ready for your next marbled project, okay? I would normally save that when I'm at home, but <laughs> due to space, we're gonna unfortunately throw it away, okay? Now, if you want to marble, but you don't wanna use all that water, you have something small, you can put a, one of our um, cleaning papers in there and you can just do this side. Now what's gonna happen is your color's gonna be a little bit more concentrated, right? Because it's got a smaller area to spread out. Okay, and again, kind of swirl that around, just like that. Let's say I just want half that paper. Okay. So that would be perfect for cards. If you're a card maker and your card's already folded in half, you can make sure you put something on that other side. Just dip the side you want and it's ready to go.